they're creepy, they're crawly, and nutritionists say they're a great source of protein. They are a fairly complete protein, so they're like chicken or eggs. But are Westerners ready to order crickets off the menu? Maybe you won't be eating cricket fingers anytime soon, but Coast Protein, a company based in New Westminster, is selling Canada's first cricket based protein bar. People are really seeing the benefit of being able to grow a lot of protein, essentially a pound per every square meter, versus like a cattle is a pound for every 12 to 30 square meters. In 2013, a UN report advocated for bugs as a sustainable food source, requiring significantly less land and resources to grow compared to traditional livestock. However, it cited the disgust factor as a barrier to expanding consumption. Um, and we're seeing lots of new products, so things like protein bars, crackers, all sorts of things with the cricket flour built in, um, and mixed results from consumers on how that tastes. Um, so with protein powders, it's pretty easy to forget that it's a cricket, um, but a lot of North Americans aren't used to insects as food, and so sometimes the idea of it being mixed into an actual solid food feels a little bit um, grosser, for lack of a better word. Though micro livestock may seem like a healthy investment, many in the West will likely stick to their meat and potatoes. This is Nick Laba for the Langara Voice.